find the constant of variation in graphs. So we have, with constant of variation, that means we have one thing and we have another thing. Number of eggs, number of cakes in this example. We want to see how one changes with the other. And if it's cakes per eggs, right, then what we have to see is for every one cake, we have two eggs. Every one, two. Every one cake, two. Every one cake, two. Every one cake, two. And they want us to write our answer as a decimal or an integer, right? So if we were to do 1 over 2, we would have to write 0.5. Okay, so hopefully that picture makes sense. If, it's, if it doesn't, we're going to do this a lot of times. So let's just, don't worry about it. You're just getting the sense of it the first time. 0.5 cakes per egg. Okay. Rabbits per square feet. You know what? I'm going to admit something, guys. When I kind of know how to do a problem, I am lazy and I don't read the question. So you should, you should tell me not to do that. But I already know it's going to be rabbits per square feet, just like you do, right? We're going to do this thing of, okay, how much does that go up and how much does that go like that? So it's 10 rabbits over 20 square feet. So 10, 20, 10, 20. So that's going to be, again, one half. So it is 0.5. And I bet you know where you've seen this before, right? I mean, they're trying to show you all different ways of connecting math. So does, can you think of another word for what we're doing? All right, how about this? Inches per hour. So we've got inches, hour. How about if I said rise over run? Does that ring a bell? 10 inches over 40 hours. So this will be 1 fourth. And that's 0 0.25. It's the same. It's always the same. That's why it's called a constant. This is our favorite. I love this one. Look at this. It's all the same, right? For every 10, you move up 10. So it's 10 kilometers over 10 trips. That's my favorite number. That's one of my favorite numbers. One. They say it's a lonely number, but I think it's a pretty good number. Number of cakes. Okay, so what is a constant variation? Yeah, I mean, look, we're, we're, we know what's going on here. One, two, one, two. So it's one cake over two eggs. You might say, why are we doing the y over x? It's just a convention. I mean, usually they should say cakes per eggs. You could, in theory, do eggs per cakes. Uh, that's totally fine. Um, you just have to make sure the other person knows what you're talking about, right? Because it's really important that you have the order right. So if, if there's no other instruction, just go with y over x. So 1 over 2 is 0.5. All right, same thing. 1 over 3. 1 over 3. Oh, hold on. I screwed up. It was good that I did it twice because I realized that I screwed up by doing it twice. So one over four, one over four. Or you could say two over eight, right? Same thing, one over four. So that's 0.25. So the word I was going for is slope. You guys have probably seen slope before. That's all the constant variation is. So if you're disappointed, I'm sorry. One over two is 
All right, we have 20. Oh, this is an exciting thing. It's the first time we got a whole number. Well, we got one. We got, so this is the second one. 20 over 10 is two. So what does that tell you? When the number is bigger than one, it's actually steep. When the number is less than one, it's shallow like that. So it's two here. Ten over forty, which gives us point two five. And thirty over ten or three. Another great number. All right. Hopefully you guys find some constants of variations in your charts and graphs and lives. And I'll see you next time.